Hello all, it is Lake, and we're back with another video at long last. We are so unbelievably back, my friends. Um, now today, first of all, ignore my adventure rank. I admit I've been playing an unhealthy amount of Genshin Impact lately, and if you want to come see me do it, you can check out my Twitch, link in the description. Anyway, let's get on with it. It's kind of ironic that I'm here playing Genshin Impact when we're talking about a very serious movie that could not be any different. Um, I want to talk about Killers of the Flower Moon. I saw it very recently, um, and let me tell you, three hours and 45 minutes in a theater was just something else. It was it was a it was a different experience. Um, I did not go for an intermission or anything like that, just the way Scorsese intended. And I was very careful with my consumption of drinks, uh, as you would imagine. And that would be essentially my main tips for getting through it. And it's still showing right now. Now, if you want to hear my consensus on it before I kind of dive more in depth, I would say this movie um, is absolutely excellent. I really, it's, it's not one of Scorsese's best. It's definitely... It's far from his best, in fact, but it's still a very, very good movie, and I think it would be foolish to miss out on seeing it in the theater because it was just, it was really enjoyable. I went to a late night showing. There were only a few people there. Um, there was one First Nations lady in the crowd. I, mm, I can't, I couldn't tell if she enjoyed it, to be honest. But my point is, you know, let's jump into more about the film. So as you know, it's. How's my audio mixing looking? Because for the record, I am actually playing right now. I just want to make that absolutely clear. You know, I, this is kind of my gimmick. So, the movie is... It starts off kind of slow, but it kind of sprinkles some stuff in there to keep you interested. Leonardo DiCaprio plays the main character. He does an excellent job at it. People say this is the best performance he's ever done in his career. I would not say that's true, to be honest with you. Um, Robert De Niro is also in the film. He does an excellent job. Lily Gladstone, as his wife, is by far the standout. She plays an excellent role, and I would even venture to say that she outacts um, DiCaprio and De Niro in this case. Now, the plot of the movie, if you're at all familiar with it, it's a true story. I don't want to spoil too much, but essentially a bunch of indigenous people are on top of land that has a lot of oil, and you know oil companies, and especially you know America, and so you know that they want oil, they like it very much, to say the least, and um, they want these First Nations people out of the way so they can have the oil for themselves. And... Robert De Niro's character, pretty clear from the beginning, plays the bad guy. Um, DiCaprio is sort of the same, but not really. So, as I said, I don't want to—I don't want to spoil too much. But what else can I really say? You know, I like to keep my reviews pretty short and concise. Um, what I would really like to hammer home about this movie is that you know, supporting it means supporting cinema, as Scorsese puts it. The f score is excellent. All the actors in the film are excellent. It tells a brilliant story that I believe 100% needs to and deserves to be told. And it tells it in a really, really good and heartfelt way. I definitely wouldn't call it concise, though. I was going to say concise, but it's really not concise. But I digress. All in all... Uh, the last, you know, I thought Oppenheimer was going to be the longest film I saw in a theater this year, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> um, three hours and 45 minutes, so only go if, you know, uh, you got time to kill, or rather you have a whole day to kill by the time you travel to the theater. But generally speaking, I would say it is worth it, and I don't want to go too in-depth because, of course, I'm playing a game, and I don't like YouTubers who keep you around for very long. So if you value my opinion, here it is. I give Killers of the Flower Moon a solid 9 out of 10. I only give it a 9 because, you know, I do honestly believe it could have been shorter. Like, I'd, I couldn't tell you what I would have picked 
to be left out of it, but I can tell you, I am certain it could have been less than three hours and 45 minutes, because it's... I think we can all admit it's at least a little excessive. Alright. And my Ayato is dead. Um, but three hours and 45 minutes, I... I feel like you're pushing it at that point. You know, Oppenheimer was a long movie at three hours, and I don't, I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound like an infant. I want to get it perfectly straight that I'm not complaining. I have no problem with watching a movie that's three hours and 45 minutes, but I don't think it should be that way. <laughs> but you know, for what it's worth, Killers of the Flower Moon I think is a movie that absolutely earns its runtime because it is just pretty damn brilliant what else can i say and uh with that being said it's gonna be about it for my review nine out of ten killers of the flower moon if you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe drop a like to you know support small creators like me and i will see you all next time i hope oh i can't pause you guys are trapped with me for at least a minute longer but you know what how about this i'll do you all a favor and I'll have editing me cut it off for you, okay? If that'll keep you happy. So I'll see you all later. <laughs> Ciao.